space in and around the six. That's where it goes, and that's it. In it goes. Morgan Bryan laid out completely unmarked for the diving header. It is now 3-0. A lot of space in and around the six. That's where it goes, and that's it. In it goes. The United States have scored. Morgan Bryan laid out completely unmarked for the diving header. It is now 3-0. You're going to see Morgan Bryan coming in, upper left. She's just going to find that seam in there. Pulls her back, pulls her away, just creates a little bit of a gap. Just that little stutter stuff. Creates a window, and she is not going to miss that one. Oof, cannot give that much time and space right in the middle of your box if you're Romania. And now Carly Lloyd is uh, rampaging through Heather O'Reilly! Well, it's what they came to see. First game back, whoever it was, beware. And now Carly Lloyd is uh, rampaging through Heather O'Reilly! Well, it's what they came to see. Dedication, passion, grit, love she's shown over the years. And no short amount of goals either. Number 47 for her. A misplaced ball that Lloyd runs onto, gets her head up, and just puts it on a platter, as they are hoping to do. For Carly Lloyd running, sorry, for Heather O'Reilly running through. And how about that? We're only less than five minutes in, and Heather O'Reilly with a goal and an assist in her final game. You slides it across. He golazo. Make it two. You slides it across. He Make it two! Tobin Heath and her American teammates running roughshod over Canada to start the second half. Opinion well, gets fouled on that, but the referee plays advantage, and Tobin Heath is so good with this shot because she is able to bend it away from the keeper. She puts enough spin on it that it, even if LaVey had better footwork and was a step over, it had too much power on it and it was spinning away. A goalkeeper could never get a strong enough hand on it. She scored the same goal in the semifinals. Inside press, looking
You know, Romania was probably thinking, hey, we got a little bit of rhythm. We're doing okay here. And then like that, with two excellent finishes. Here's a great lesson for Romania. You just don't give this team time and space in the box. And Tobin Heath has had a world of time on that outside. She sees she's got a little bit of an angle. And she looks up, sees it, has the vision and presence to say, I'm not going to hit this with power. I'm just going to bend this into the upper corner. What a nice finish. to Pew. Pew plays it through. Shot down. Alex Morgan in stoppage time puts the USA ahead.
dream about. You talked about her ability to spin and get away, treat her up for the shot. You're right, and she had acres of space when she spun that defender. There's not much you can do. She's She's got such a low center of gravity. She's so quick. It's very hard to defend that. You can't blame the English defense for that. Klingenberg holding there. Waits for some movement around her. Dunn spun away. Looking, shooting. Dunn with a goal. Well done by Crystal. one nothing U.S. That's going to do it. But right now, I think the U.S. is is a bit flustered by this five-man back line, and they're having difficulty breaking it down. Lloyd will try a long hit. What a goal from Lloyd! This is spectacular. It's hit with no regard for humanity. They're so good at defensively and pressing for those regains. Now they need to implement that same quickness on the attack. Lloyd will try a long hit. What a goal from Lloyd! This is spectacular. It's hit with no regard for humanity. Blasts it into the upper corner. It is now 1-1. Or you just do that. If you're not going to get behind him, take an outside shot. What is this, 40 yards out, and that's Sullivan. Just a nice one-two. I mean, look at this movement off the ball. A little triangle play there. And Carly Lloyd, I mean, she's a good 10 yards, 7 yards off that top of the circle of the 18. Brilliant strike, and look at this triangle. I love this view of it, this layoff, that first time layoff, and I believe that's Kelly O'Hara, who then reestablishes with, like she can't get the ball back, but Carly Lloyd says, no, this is mine, and then laces that upper V. Absolutely searing, smashed in ball for Carly Lloyd. Lady Bird misjudged that one, pressured by Blessa. She tracks it down. Shipping it forward for Morgan. Around Bartuziak. What an absolutely spectacular goal. Two and two games for Alex Morgan. Lingenberg misjudged that one. Pressured by Blessa. She tracks it down. Shipping it forward for Morgan. Around Bartuzia. What an absolutely spectacular goal. Two and two games for Alex Morgan. You want your goal scorer to have confidence, and she's going to earn a ton from this. Megan Kleinberg picks her head up, realizes there's a gap of space in behind a high German back line. But look at the agility and her ability to control that ball. Under balance, full speed, have the poison presence to chip it up over the other center defender coming back in. Great ball. Excellent, magical moment by Alex Morgan, who again, at the end, knows she's going to get pummeled by the goalkeeper, Schultz, but still stays committed to her strike. Takes a huge hit afterwards, but now her team is tied 1-1. Her 64th goal for the U.S., and in terms of skill level, that's one of the best she's ever scored. That wow, was beauty, wasn't it? One pressured by Blessa, she tracks it down. Shipping it forward for Morgan. Around Bartuzia. What an absolutely spectacular goal. Two and two games for Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan with something special. Helping the U.S. take a 2-1 lead into the half. That's because those two haven't played together. I don't expect that would happen if that was a usual pairing between Ingen and Sauerbrunn. But then this ball, look how well-weighted that was from Megan Klingenberg. But a world-class finish, something you would see on a video game from Alex Morgan. I could watch this all day. Up with the left foot, full volley with the right. That is the definition, as you said, of a world-class goal. The goal that tied the game is the play everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow. Megan Klingenberg to Alex Morgan. She does the rest. This is definitely top 10 nominee. A well-rated ball in behind the German defense, but look at her ability to stay on her feet and her agility to knock it up over a player. You know, everyone says how fast she is and how well she times her runs, but really, you combine that with her technical ability is the reason why she's so world-class and one of the best forwards in the world. Unleash a shot from that distance, but she did so 
and put the ball in the back of the net. But to me, Megan Klingenberg is the unsung hero for this entire game. Look at this well-weighted ball to Alex Morgan. That is just such an unbelievable finish. Not just because she stayed on top of it, not just because she knew she'd probably get pummeled by the goalkeeper, but the fact she kept her eye on the ball and kept her focus the entire time as she set up that shot and beat two defenders. Alex Morgan came up with a goal to remember on this one.